Taylor. There's so many, and dude. Turner. There's so many uh, foot soldiers, so many football troopers. Uh, in even in Twitchcon EU, when I was in Amsterdam. Oh yeah. Yeah, hell of people came up to me and were like, "Oh my god, like leftovers. You're with the, you, you know, you do podcasts with Ethan." Yeah, there's there's a lot of people. Love that. Love all you guys, man. I yeah. don't like really leave the house that much, so I don't get as much as that in in real life interaction. Yeah. It's nice to hear that they're out there. That they're Mr. real. Mr. Piker is one. Yeah, you know who else doesn't do that? But when they do, it man. blows up. Jenna Marbles. Dude, Jenna Marbles literally just got took a photo with somebody. <laughs> it was like news. Did you yeah. guys see that? Yeah. I love Jenna, though. She got dirty. She done dirty. She didn't I have mean, to leave like, the internet like that. She, yeah. But also, like, it's wild that... <clears throat> I don't know. I have a lot of thoughts on this. I, I like her a lot as well. Go ahead. I love I love Julian. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think he's a wonderful, sweet, kind person, and so is uh, Jenna. From what I understand, I don't really know her that well. She is. But um, when I saw that, like she self canceled kind of for her like old videos and the way that people were like popping off on her, it just it just frustrated me so much because like only we have a tendency often to only punish people who care right? because like cancellation isn't real. So right? true, bro. It's not a real thing. So you only punish people who have already like made amends and have tried to better themselves. So true. And we're so vicious to people who listen because at a certain point it moves beyond genuinely trying to make progress or change. And it just becomes like, Oh, how can I move the needle in any meaningful capacity? Oh, well I can do that by, criticizing someone who I know has like empathetic uh, points of view to my my plight, my marginalization. Totally. You're so right about the pe only the people that care yeah. get canceled. And that, that frustrates the shit out of me. I mean, Jenna, she did some insensitive things a long time ago, or maybe you could say outright uh, 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 offensive or racist. I don't know. But that shit was like so long ago. And, you know, she's and, like, obviously not like that yeah, now. And she she's knew it was bad. Way. Like, that's the point. If yeah. you do some fucked up shit, like that shouldn't, that shouldn't carry over for the rest of your life. Like, we just do not have a tendency towards rehabilitation and growth. When, <clears throat> as human beings, on an individual level, we have loved ones that have problematic opinions. Way we, worse than anything. You yeah. know what I mean? And you we understand, Linda, yeah. we want them to get better, right? So why don't you extend that kind of empathy and love and understanding to every <clears throat> single person that you possibly can? It's something that I advocate for all the time. It's very frustrating. And I think it ties to America's like incredibly draconian attitude mm -hmm. towards crime and punishment. You do a crime, you're a criminal for the rest of your life. That should stay with you forever. You should go to jail 30 forever. 30 fucking years for like selling weed. Yeah. And and it just sucks. And this is like a like a microcosm of that kind of hostility towards people who have done uh, things that are wrong. I think everyone has the capacity to rehabilitate. And I certainly think that like content creators that have you know tried to be funny and have done it in like really hacky ways, uh, you know, especially if they make amends for it, if they recognize that that was wrong. I was Just talking about this yesterday. You, you know, we, we've all, we've all, all of us who are on the internet, we've all done things that are stupid, that said and done things that suck, you yeah. know? It's like you, we can't hold it over each other's heads forever. And yeah. there's a difference between real crimes, people who are actually doing fucking harm to this world and to society who are actually just fucking like, pieces of shit, psychopaths. And then there's people like General Marbles who literally just made some tacky jokes 10 plus years ago. And it's just fucking outrageous. Yeah. By the way, here's the picture. For, yeah, I love that. 100,000. Also, Julian, likes. looking fucking jacked, dude. God damn it. He's, yeah, he's so sexy. Yeah, he works out, eh? He does. All tatted up. Look at those legs. Know? Look at those goddamn legs. I can't, is, I'm are, sorry. Is that good leg? Is that good legs? I mean, look at his quads, dude. There's, those things are bussing. He he it looks popping. like he shaves to get those contours. I don't know, maybe. Hecker is mad. He's just he's just sexy, man. He's a sexy guy. He's got the tactical he's got the tactical keychain too. What's going on? He's oh, dangling. We love that. Yeah, he's ready. To, he's ready at any. He's moment. ready to. He's ready, he's ready to, to, to run, dude. He's got the simply nail logical nail collection collaboration that he did on the on the fingies. Look, he My it man. looks like he's in a he's in a shopping mall clearly, and you know those have 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 lately been a, a great place to shoot up. Uh, people have been enjoying doing that, and you got to be ready to go. No, and yeah, you know he's ready at, to go. He's look ready to legs. fucking go, dude. And Jenna, she's out there casual, but he's ready. He's ready yeah. for business. He'll he's ready carry for her out if he needs to. Yeah, you got to be ready, in America. You got to wear sneakers all the time, you know. Yeah, because you never know where you're gonna have to run for your life, in it. Yeah, it sucks she left, but, you know, 
There it is. We got to stop, guys. We got to be better. I was saying, like, there's people like James Charles who, and worse even, but he's like a serial predator, incapable of reforming his behavior. And this is someone who should be canceled, like, completely. In order, in order for someone to be able to, in order for someone to be able to, like, reform their behavior, I think uh, one of the things they, they have to do is at least, like, see that their actions are wrong and, like, face some consequences. If you can avoid consequences mm. for your actions, then, like, it's going to be highly unlikely that you reform your behavior. So when I say, like, I believe in rehabilitation, someone. I don't mean, like, no, no punishment. You know what I mean? No punishment whatsoever. I just mean that, you know, we should be more considerate to people who have made change in their lives. Um, but you were mentioning, like, even people who break the law, who do crimes. Like, I, I think even they have the yeah. capacity to... Well, there's, there's some crimes that are too horrific. I personally am super opposed to the death penalty. It's so fucking barbaric, dude. Yeah. That the, the state is killing people. And, you know, we've seen throughout history that so many innocent people are actually put on death row... Even one is enough to justify throwing it out. But it's happened so many times now, and the fact that people still uh, support the death penalty is pretty f freaky. Um, so I, I agree that, that uh, uh, criminals can be reformed, and, uh, but at the end of the day... No, John Hinckley's greatest crime was that he, he, he missed. Well, he didn't miss, but he used a twenty two, and it wasn't enough. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, I mean, here's a reformed uh, criminal, uh, speaking of which. This is the great John Hinckley, the guy who shot uh, Ronald Reagan. Shut the fuck out. John Hinckley's out, guys, and he's based his shit. He said, I believe in peace, love, equity, LBGT, LGBTQ rights, abortion rights, animal rights, race <laughs> mixing. I was like, well, you didn't he have to. Race, race my man said race that mixing. That guy's been in jail too long. Yeah, race exactly. <laughs> He, he doesn't know. He doesn't know what the proper terminology is. <laughs> but shout out. Right. Miscegenation. I'm for it. <laughs> uh, that's great. Assault weapon ban, sharing the wealth, Green New Deal, Black Lives Matter, prison reform, and good old rock and roll, baby. Join the John Hinckley community, my man. Yeah. I am. I'm in. Quarter, quarter pounder about to make a video like John Hinckley went woke. <laughs> Go broke. <laughs>